So in the last one, we started building our comments list adapter class. And now we're to the point where we need to use the user ID that's connected to the comment to query the database and get the username and the photo of that user that's uh, associated with that username. So we're going to go into our view post fragment class here and go into the get photo details method. And I'm going to copy this entire query. So get everything from the database reference all the way down through the on canceled method. And I'm just going to hit control C on that. We're going to go back into our comments list adapter and let's say get set the username and profile image. And then below that, we're going to paste the query. And here we are going to change things. So first of all, we need to reference the context to use our get strings method. So context, context, and do dot, dot. And we don't need that, we don't need that. And now let's change this to suit our needs. And we can, we can, we're still gonna search actually the database user account settings node. We're going to look for the user ID field, but instead of using the photo, we're going to use the comment to get it. So we do get item and that, whoops, get item and then our position to reference the array list item that we're referring to and then get user ID and we're gonna search for that user ID. So then down here in our on data change and iterating through our data snapshot, we can actually retrieve the profile photo and retrieve the username and then set them. So we can go folder.username set text and here we can go single snapshot get value and this is going to be the user class or sorry no the user account settings class so user account settings class let's go to the next line just to give some more space here user account settings dot class and then dot get username that will set the username and that's going to copy that whole line there so inside here we're going to have to use our universal image loader to now set that profile photo so we'll go uh, image loader, image loader equals image loader dot get instance. And then we can do image loader dot display image. And we want to get our profile image. So once again, we're going to use our data snapshot for this here. And instead of getting the username, we're going to get the profile photo. And let's go to the next line and add a comma there. Now we want to uh, submit the widget that we're referring to. So that's going to be the profile photo widget. And we're not using a progress bar or anything like that. So that's actually all we wanted to do. If you wanted to use a progress bar though, you could do a comma here and do new image loader listener. And then you could handle the states on loading started, on loading failed, on loading complete, on loading canceled, and add your progress bar. But I'm not going to add that. I'm just going to uh, just close that off and set the image. No progress bar for this one. And that's it. That should successfully set our comments. Of course, we can't test this yet because we don't have any comments in our database. So that's what we're going to work on next. So now we need a way to actually leave a comment. And currently, if we look at our app, so if we go to our Instagram clone and go to one of the posts, uh, basically, we need to attach an on-click listener to this little comment uh, talk bubble here. And also down here, we need this to represent how many comments there are and in our case there's none so basically it should say nothing and so we need to attach the first an on-click listener to this right here so let's go to our view post fragment and we're going to go into our setup widgets method which is right in front of me and now we're going to attach some on-click listeners so uh, let's first do the back arrow actually so set on-click listener new on-click listener and just do log navigating back and to navigate back, we just do get activity and get support fragment manager and then pop the back stack. And now I'm going to copy this whole on click listener thing here. And I'm going to do, what is it? Did I not actually create that widget yet for the comment, for the comment bubble? Let's go to the very top. And let's see here, doesn't look like it. So we're going to need to create a new image view widget for the uh, comment bubble. So I'll just call it uh, comment, m comment, and let's go down into on create and do m comment equals image view view find your ready r to id dot. I really don't remember what I called this. I'm gonna have to check the layout. So let's go to the project pane, go to app and res and layout, and do fragment view post, and we want to look for this image view widget right there. I don't know why it's not letting me click it. Oh, because it's in a different layout. Uh, it's in the layout view post. 
So let's go into layout view post and let's close that. Click on the talking bubble and let's see here. Speech bubble is the ID. Okay, so I'm copying that and we're gonna paste in speech bubble there. And there we go. Now we're gonna go back into our setup widgets method, which was somewhere around the middle, I believe. So setup widgets. And I'm gonna try copying that once again, pasting that in, do M comment, set on click listener. And in this case, what we wanna do is actually navigate to our comments thread. And normally that would be really easy. You would just actually navigate to the fragment, but what we need to do is refer to the photo that we're looking at currently. So we need to implement a new interface for this so that we can actually pass that photo to that new comments thread. So let's go to the very top and we're gonna create a new interface just below the tag here. So public interface on comment select it on comment thread I guess on comment thread selected listener then we're going to do void on comment thread selected on comment thread selected listener and we're just going to pass the photo and then we need to create that object or that interface object on comment thread selected m on comment thread selected listener and then we're going to go down and do create an on attach method just like we always do with our interfaces. So on attach, and we need to catch the class cast exception. So try catch the class cast exception and just do log E class cast exception E message and M on comments like listener equals get activity. Oops, no equals uh, on comment thread selected listener and then get activity for the context. And of course, because we're currently in profile activity, technically, since we selected an image from the profile, that's where we're going to have to implement this interface. So let's go and find profile activity, profile activity, and close this project pane. And it implements already one interface. So now we're going to just put a comma here and implement a second interface. So on comment selected listener and then click here and do implement methods and it's going to put it at the very bottom but I like to put the interface methods at the very top so I'm just going to grab that and stick this in the top here and I'm going to stop the video here and in the next one we're going to implement this interface and navigate to our comments our view comments fragment with the context of the photo that we have selected so I'll see you guys in that next video